Welcome to this video in which we will discuss displacement, velocity and acceleration. Um, I'm Mr. John from explainingmaths.com. Let's find out what they uh, want us to do. It says the velocity time graph, uh, velocity time, yeah, shows the motion of a car and a bicycle. Okay, so we have two separate motions as they travel along a straight horizontal road. When t is zero, the car and bicycle tra pass a traffic light on the road. At the traffic light, the bicycle is traveling at a constant velocity of 5 meters per second. Okay, I'm going to have a look at my graph already. So, constant velocity means there's no acceleration. So, we're looking at the horizontal line, indeed, now with a gradient of 0, no acceleration, 5 meters per second. So, that will be the bike, great. But the car, it says, is traveling at 3 meters per second and accelerating. So, indeed, 3 meters per second and the velocity is increasing, so the car is accelerating. Everything makes sense. Fantastic. Eh? So I understand what it all means. Now let's find out uh, what the question is. Explain how the graph indicates that the acceleration of the car is constant. So in English then, eh, I'm not going to write it down here because I don't have a lot of space, but a constant acceleration means that the gradient of your uh, line is constant as well. Eh? Because the gradient of the line, when you look at a velocity time graph, it's going to give you the acceleration, so it's a line, so it's a constant gradient, so constant acceleration. Yeah, so you can write something like constant gradient, so constant acceleration. Find the acceleration of the car. Okay, so find by showing all relevant workings what is the acceleration of the car. Okay, so what is the gradient of this line and the acceleration of the car? You find by the change in speed over the time taken. Yeah? dy dx if you like. So the change in speed, it goes from 3 to 5 meters per second. So the change in speed is going to be 2 divided by the time taken. So how long does it take to, um, yeah, to get that change in speed? Well, that is from 0 to 3 seconds, so over 3, 2 over 3. And indeed a positive gradient because you are accelerating. But now question B, which is more interesting, I, I assume, when T is T, the car has traveled twice as far from the traffic lights as the bicycle. Find the value of T. Now, there are several ways of approaching this question, um, as, as usual uh, the case is. Let me just uh, do it my way. I'm going to use the equation S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Okay, so the displacement S is ut, the original speed times the time, plus a half a, where a is acceleration, t squared. Okay, that is one of the equations of motions which you can use with constant acceleration. So first of all, the displacement then for the bike, so sb, is going to be ut, well his initial speed or velocity is 5, so 5t, five plus a half times its acceleration, which is 0, times t squared. So 0 times a half times t squared is 0. So the displacement of the bike is given by the expression 5t. There you go. I'm going to do a similar thing for the car. So sc for the car. ut, so 3t, because its initial speed is 3 meters per second, plus a half times a, its acceleration, 2 over 3, times t squared. There we go. And if we simplify that, we get 3t plus a third t squared. So that is the displacement of the car. Okay. Now they say that at a particular moment, the distance traveled from by the car is twice as far. Okay. So what is the value of t when this is twice as much as that? So how can I find that? I'm going to say, so 5t equals 3t plus a third t squared, but I'm not interested when they are equal, I'm only interested when uh, the car's displacement is double. So I'm going to multiply this one by 2, yeah, so forget about that now, that was the previous question, by 2, and then it should be equal. Yeah? Or I could say this displacement divided by 2 has to equal 5t, yeah, which means the same thing. Now that's an equation which I can work out now. So 10t equals 3t plus a third t squared. Uh, it's a quadratic equation. You're going to equal that to 0. Let me do that for you. So 0 equals 
uh, if you do it properly, you're going to get t squared minus 21t. I'm just skipping one or two steps, but you make sure you're going to get that. Then you can factorize that, take out the common factor, t, t uh, minus 21. So when is it going to be 0? That's at t is 0, and that t equals 21. Well, we have to disregard t is 0, uh, but we are only interested in this value, that positive value, apparently when T or capital T is 21 seconds, the, the distance traveled by the car is twice as far. Okay, I hope that was useful. Uh, please like and share if it was, and check my website explainingmouse.com for all my other free resources. Take care. Bye-bye.